from the Tom Cruise Institute for Intelligent Responses to Stressful Situations. This is Kurt Berglund with APA Hall of Fame Baseball Team Building. Yes, it's a preview of the American League team that I have assembled from the new APA Hall of Fame set covering the years 1981 to the present. Had sort of a dilemma with the 1980s onward, and that is that we have a bunch of players, but not a real clear way to separate them in terms of time period. So what we went with, what I went with, was dividing them into leagues. So we have an American League offering from 1981 to the present, that we're going to do right now and tomorrow you'll get a glimpse at the National League offering from 1981 to the present. Not as many uh, personnel dilemmas in this group, although there are still a few, especially the last roster spot or two in terms of position players, a little bit of a challenge. So let's get uh, looking at what we have. Right, remember, these are the sort of organizational rules that we're going by for the league that we're starting in January. There's no DH. There's no three batter minimum for relief pitchers. There are no extra inning uh, runner on second rule. The rosters are at stuck at 25 men. We're going to play APA basic and a king of the hill format. So if you win, you keep playing. And once you get to 10 wins... You're in the World Series. Uh, and last but not least, we are playing Injuries. Okay, so with those as the rules, um, I'm working on a requirement for all players to start a certain number of games or every so often, but we haven't come up with that yet, so that's still a work in progress. Let's... Um, Let's get to the pitching staff right here. It's Kurt Schilling, one of them. Roger Clemens, Jack Morris, Pedro Martinez, Randy Johnson, Roy Halladay, Mike Mussina, Andy Pettit, the only C pitcher in the bunch, Dan Quisenberry as the setup man, and Mariano Rivera as the closer. So we have a 10-man pitching staff with these individuals in the group. For the position players, here's what we're looking at. Uh, catchers will be Yvonne Rodriguez and Jorge Posada. Now, I'm dipping into the nine Hall of Famers here for a few of these spots. Uh, Schilling is one, Pettit is one, Posada here is another uh, to round out the team. There's also going to be a team comprised of all nine Hall of Famers from this set, but I gave the teams that are established here dibs as to what they needed to fill out their rosters. So before that team was made, the rest uh, got what they needed, if there were any. Not too many were needed, but there were a few. At first base, we have Frank Thomas and Jim Tomey. Second base, but actually a multitude of positions, Paul Molitor and Robbie Alomar, for those of you that enjoy expectoration from your ballplayers. Derek Jeter at short. Cal Ripken Jr. at short. Alan Trammell at short. Third base, George Brett and Wade Boggs. Outfield, Ricky Henderson, Harold Baines, Kirby Puckett, Manny Ramirez. So, as we count, 15 gentlemen. The last two players on the team were these two, in my judgment, Alan Trammell and Manny Ramirez. Didn't know if we really needed three shortstops, but I think Trammell um, 
I really liked Dallin Trammell. I thought he was a heck of a player, and I have a hard time leaving him off on that basis. Here are the players that were cut. I know what you're going to say. I know, I know, I know what you're going to say, but I can't do it. I can't do it. J-Lo loves him, I, I guess. I don't. <sighs> Omar Vizquel? No. Now, this one is tough. Now, I could go with the third first baseman. There's no DH, but you could argue that Murray is at least as good as Tomy and maybe better. And Frank Thomas? I don't know. Um, uh, defense could be an issue, so I could be talked into him. I almost caved, but I didn't. And I never, ever, ever would cave. So, we have some needs, but we've only got one guy. Well, this guy I could stomach, but he's not... He's the fourth best shortstop, so what does that do for you? And Eddie Murray, I'm, I'm listening to arguments, if you want to make one, that he should be on here. Uh, what it would look like if you replaced either Ramirez or Trammell is that uh, we have a little bit of an outfield depth issue. Um, we have no infielders that can play the outfield, none. So the only outfielders that we have right now are Puckett, Baines, and Henderson, which kind of locks me into either Ramirez or, if you really want, we could go with Albert Bell if you want to talk me into him. Um, but that's where we're at for depth um, in this group. Now, there are some other choices and uh, there's, there's some individuals that we could go with that did not make the Hall of Fame, and just like these gentlemen so far, except for Trammell, of course, um, who could be an argument to be included. Uh, here's one that you could argue is a Hall of Fame candidate, and I think I might be persuaded that you're right, uh, we could make him the fourth outfielder. We have another option here, um, and that's Dwight Evans. Um, I think he's a Hall of Famer, but that's me. Um, could go with Murph. Oh, wait. Nope, we can't because this is the American League. And there's one more player that is not on the team that is in the set that lots of folks would think would be a good addition. So we could forget the Eddie Murray concept and just add Mattingly, if you like. Mattingly played outfield. I guess I could give him an outfield rating of one or something. Um, but basically we've got a cadre of seven, no, yeah, seven people for two spots. And I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are. The other way we could go, if you're really impressed with this group, uh, the other way we could go is to drop Pettit and say there's no room for a C pitcher, which would, um... Uh, drop the pitching staff down to nine and allow for a third person from this group of seven to be added to the group. So that is the personnel dilemma for the 1981 to the present American League group. And I'd be interested to see your feedback. If that doesn't happen, then these two guys join the team of non-Hall of Famers, and maybe he does as well. We'll see. Um, but I'd be willing to move these two guys to that American League team from 1981 to the present. But I'd like to hear a good argument. So 
those, that is your dilemma. These are the seven that are under consideration. So with that said, I hope you have a good night. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. My name is Kurt Berglund. Thank you so much for joining. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more APA Hall of Fame baseball stuff coming up in, well, the rest of December and certainly starting in January when the league gets going with the King of the Hill format. Thanks again. Have a good evening. So long, everybody.